Oh, okay. Work done. It's time to go to the gym. All right, so agenda for today's session deadlifts all right it's thursday the 2nd of november 2023 and uh, so that means it's deadlift day in out powerlifting so yeah thursdays we deadlift so you know that by now though if you've been following the series which you should be anyways so halloween is well and truly over right obviously didn't get up to too much on tuesday night you know i didn't go out drinking oh, i need to put on the fucking heater thing of the window apologies for any noise um so yeah didn't get up, up to too much tuesday night i know there's probably a lot of people who did go out drinking and over the bank holiday weekend and i actually am one of them i was in galway so i was drinking you know i know a lot of you probably felt obliged to drink you know it was probably something you feel like you had to have done you know oh it's halloween i have to drink you know but you never have to drink all right if you have goals you know if you want to get fitter stronger healthier you know better mental health then you know maybe avoiding alcohol is probably a good port of call oh no way jose so yeah avoiding alcohol will probably be good for you if you're trying to do any of those i just listed out so um you know feel this stigmatism around you know having to drink when it's say your friend's birthday or a certain occasion or you know there's a match on or whatever fucking excuse people come up with you know that's only holding yourself back you can keep lying to yourself all you want about it it's not gonna it's not gonna serve you any any good in the in the long run so um yeah that's my two cents on you, you need to not stop being so uh, easy on yourself especially if you're stuck in a rut and not making progress and feeling shit about yourself you know well, yeah aside from the points um deadlifts today we have i think it's the final single of the heavy single on deadlifts so we have 290 kilos um on on the plan you know i hope jay is there so if he sees it and it's easy i might go up because i do want a big deadlift on a comp day and i think 290 is a bit it's very reserved so there's probably a valid reason for that you know jay obviously is always right about a lot of stuff and he's never really been wrong when i've asked him for advice so um see so yeah, i trust his instinct he's pulled back the set to seven so there's no set to seven anyways so the volume is coming down and um, it is you know we are two and a half weeks out now uh 17 days to be exact so um i weighed in today at 114 kilos so feeling strong feeling heavy feeling like a bit of a Feeling like a bit of a fat bastard, uh, if I'm being honest. Um, but you know, it's all part of the process. You know, I think when you bulk up and you see yourself, you're full of food, and you're going to bed, and it's not the leanest you've ever been. You feel shit. You know, it's easy to just jump the gun and be like, "Oh, I'm cutting or fuck this weight class or whatever." But you have to stay the course. That's all part of it. It's all part of the process of getting bigger and stronger. You're gonna have to sit at some body weights that are quite uncomfortable you may feel heavy and like a lard but you know if you want to become a fucking absolute unit this is all part of it so unfortunately i'm gonna to have to stick it out and it's only two more weeks anyways man like and then i'm gonna do a nice cut and shed off a good few kilos and feel better about myself until i feel shit about myself being weak and then bulk again and then do the cycle all over again and that is how you make infinite progress in the gym uh, apart from taking anabolic steroids of course um, after deadlifts today we've got cambered squats chilled out sets of six and then hack squats back extensions and calf raises so pretty decent session um, and yeah let's just get into it I'll you know, show you you know when I have like four reds on the bar or something I might show you the one routine I might not let's see anyways <laughs> about as specific of a warm-up as you get. 
Connor's deload. A bit boring for him today. He's 100 kilos less on the bar today than last week. You just saw Sean Blong taking 225 as well. Marcel with 170. Marcel was giving about, about the audio in the last video. How about this for audio, Marcel? <laughs> you fucking bitch. Come on! Yeah, Alright, Alex doing four now. Connor straight in again, he only has two singles today, so may as well get them over with. He always does this setup, no matter what weight is on the bar. Consistent with his uh, setup. Which way you want. on the bar, grabbing my belt. Oh, what? You missed out of the van, you put Alcott in the gym. Can't hear you. <laughs> All right, make it smooth, man. Come on. Let's go. 270. strength is built. Or right, Sean Blanc taking 265. Let's go Blanc, come on. Let's go Sean, come on. Yes sir. I would eat him. No towel goiter. No towel goiter. Now, that 290 felt like shit. 
Not gonna lie, one didn't feel too bad. One didn't feel the, the greatest as well. Obviously very fatigued, so we're stripping back the weight now. So. Connor is breaking in his new wraps, hilariously enough, with 120 kilos. Let's see how he pro propels us into the air. Yes, I'm counting this as a working set. Get a couple of reps in. As boring as it is, it has to be done right now, so. Got a massive 140 on the bar now.
No. some isolations. Opting for the leg extension now rather than the high twelve. I think the main aim now is just to reduce the overall fatigue and like loading on the spine. You know we're gonna be fresh for the day. We don't want to keep building up more and more fatigue so we want to be dropping it down now and be fresh so you know yeah, leg extensions are a better option, a better isolation for the quad than, you know, a hack will be where I'm getting a lot of lo uh, spine load. So, the back extensions as well, I'm not going to add uh, much weight on them. I'll just be uh, body weight, I'll probably do some holds in the middle to like isolate the hammies a bit better and then call it a day there. Yeah, fairly boring day, but like, like it is what it is at this stage, this is all part of it, so have to uh, have to do it.
Extensions are done. Now just for back extensions. Imagine keeping the load in my hammies somehow and then at the top just squeezing the glutes into the pad basically. Yeah, you'll feel it on your glutes and erectors. Those are really good though. I did those when I had a fucking hamstring injury and it basically cured my hammy like. Well, it's probably load management as a whole but they're good for strengthening the posterior chain regardless. So, anyways, let's get to the car man. Sort of lied about the, the car talk. We're home now though. And dinner is going down. Steak that's been out for about half an hour. Onto the pan that's got the butter on it. Voila. Um, yeah, frying in butter, man. I think olive oil is a bit weird to fry with because I think it like oxidizes or something. Yeah, so I've gone off it a bit. I read something and it's made me paranoid. So. Get that ASMR. Um, yeah, obviously fatigue very high. You know, have to strip back everything now. As expected, this point of prep two weeks out. So it is what it is. You know, we've done a lot of reps with 290 already and 300. So I'm very confident that, you know, a 700 pound or more deadlift is there on the day. Um, judging off the strength previously, obviously one day isn't indicative of the whole prep. But uh, yeah, it's just about stripping back now. You've seen that we're reducing load on a lot of things, less uh, volume elsewhere, you know, less compounds, more isolation stuff, just to keep blood in the, the muscle groups, keep things, you know, keep the, I don't know, the, the groove greased, I don't know. But um, yeah, you know, like you can easily get caught up in the whole, oh, my single isn't moving as good or, but man, it's, it's heavy weight, it's supposed to feel heavy. And also, you're going to be very fatigued during the peak. So if things aren't moving great, you know, it's sort of part and parcel of it. Um, I'm just glad I'm not feeling the, the tr traditional abs peak. That was a lot more volume. But, um, yeah, man, I think that's, that's a 
lot. I've got steak on now, potatoes in the oven. Um, and then I'm going to calculate what else I need to eat for the day. I probably won't need to eat much else after this. It'll be my fourth meal, so. Yeah, no veg, man. I've had enough veg for today as well. Fucking veg, man. Fills me right up. My appetite's a bit struck at the moment because I've been bulking for quite a while, so. Only two weeks left and then we're cutting, so I can't wait for that. Looking forward to, to feeling a bit better about myself and not feeling as heavy walking around and brr, but uh you gotta do what you gotta do man the things we uh sacrifice to on our path to glory but um anyways folks if you have watched this far thank you for tuning in be sure to subscribe to the boy and if you're interested in nutrition coaching or coaching by yours truly link in the description all right abs nutrition best in the business in best in ireland for sure anyway for powerless and nutrition so do reach out yeah bench tomorrow so i'll see you then